So very common question I get is um, Sanjeev, can you do an end to end uh, DevOps pipeline? So while the question is valid, uh, there are end to end pipelines, but usually at, for a you know some sort of customer who are very mature in their DevOps uh, practices. So somebody like uh, Netflix, Google sort of companies may have even they may not have, but may have end to end pipelines. But in reality, what you see in the industry, 99.9% .9 of the companies, there is nothing like an end to end pipeline. There are a bunch of pipelines in the company that they use for various reasons. So uh, they may have a pipeline to, for example, creating the infrastructure in the in the uh, company. So they are creating infrastructure for a specific application. Now that infrastructure will use some sort of base Docker image will probably use some sort of base AMI. You can say that so there will be a different uh, pipeline to create the AMIs and the Docker image so that that becomes a different set of different repository maybe uh, and then a different pipeline to create those uh, outputs. So that output will be stored in your AWS account as an AMI or as an uh, Docker image in your ECR repository, and then the subsequent pipeline will pick it up and deploy the infrastructure. Similarly, there is usually a, a developer's pipeline where there will be security codes on our queue, uh, uh, products will be embedded, and they those sort of pipelines will create an artifact. In high maturity clients, there there will be a CD pipeline, uh, um, you know, that will take over from there. But in the, in the most of the companies, you will see there is a CI pipeline which will produce the um, artifact, which could uh, which could be a, a binary file or a Docker uh, repo, uh, Docker image, and then there will be a deployment pipeline which will deploy to different um, staging uh, non prod and prod environments. Those are uh, the other. These are these uh, some of the CI/CD uh, pipelines that we talk about. Then there are usually data pipelines. Uh, you will have a pipeline to read data from different sources, do some uh, some sort of assessment, do some sort of uh, massaging of the data, uh, transformation of data. So ETL uh, pipelines basically. So they will read from different sources, produce a meaningful output reports for your uh, company they are sort of uh, data pipelines uh, and then uh, maybe uh, if the company wants to have a different devsecops pipeline then devsecops pipelines can be there uh, similarly uh, there could be an overarching pipelines which uh, which is nothing but controlling any two or three such pipelines so they will there will be an image created first then a ci process and then a cd process and then there is a there is a release pipeline on top of it which will control all these um, these uh, pipelines so don't no need to be uh, very specific of building a complete uh, end to end pipeline just focus on small pieces uh, that that are there understand why those small pieces are built uh, just like a car assembly there is no such you know master uh, uh, nut and bolt where which will work everywhere there will be small pieces you will have to join them together and then a, a good uh, reuse uh, usable reusable uh, car or some uh, product can be built so same concept here as well there is no fixed standard gold plated uh, devops pipeline in the industry there are different uh, varieties of pipelines there are different uh, level of integrations and um, uh, po possible and a lot depends on the maturity of the customers, their requirements as well. Uh, somebody like Facebook, uh, Google or Netflix may have to release very frequently a few things. So they will have uh, sort of stable uh, pipelines, but somebody who are who are doing very not doing very frequent releases, um, they will have these disjointed pipelines which will be stable in their own space and uh, it will be easy to uh, use them when when you want to apply the, those pipelines. So just focus on these individual uh, pipelines. What I'm doing is I'm conducting a webinar on uh, 1st of July. What I'm offering in that is I'm trying to 
make these pipelines, individual pipelines, slightly complex by making sure that um, you are following some good practices. So I will be presenting a sort of specification document in that uh, webinar, which you can take and you can build uh, in your free time and come back and present to the community. So the link is in the description uh, of this video. You can uh, take a look at that and see if you can join that uh, webinar. Thanks. Bye.